Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Agents of Chaos Supplement Guidebook for Warcry. So here's the new supplement guidebook that came out for Warcry for the Agents of Chaos, and this was released in December 2020, and I've picked up all four of the new supplements for each of the alliances. So we've got the Agents of Chaos, Sentinels of Order, We've got the Bringers of Death and the Harbingers of Destruction. So if you play with any of the warbands from these books, then you're certainly going to get a lot of new information that you can add to your game with any of these books here. I'll be doing videos for each of the four books, so check those out too. And you can see they're very different in size. So we've got the Agents of Chaos and the Sentinels of Order. These are your bigger books and they're going to come in at 112 pages. And then you've got the Bringers of Death and the Harbingers of Destruction, which are almost half the size at 64 pages. And then price-wise for these, the Agents of Chaos and Sentinels of Order, RRP is £20. And for the Bringers of Death and Harbingers of Destruction, they're £15. So that extra £5 is going to get you almost twice as much information there. But just bear in mind that these have got a lot more warbands, so the information you'll get in really is for the extra warbands that's included. I'll put links to all four of these supplement guidebooks in the description below, and that's going to take you to uh, Element Games. And at Element Games, you can save up to 20% on the RRP on these books, and also all Warcry and Warhammer products. There'll be affiliate links, but they're not going to cost you anything extra. In fact, they're going to save you money and any sales made through those links. I get a small commission and that helps me develop the channel, pick up more cool stuff like this and get into those battle reports that I can't wait to bring. OK, so let's get into it. Here's the Agents of Chaos Warcry Supplement Guidebook and a brilliant book. I love the cover. This is so great. And then on the back here, it gives us a little bit more in the way of miniatures. We've got our Carcadron there, which is cool. So I picked this model up in the start collecting set and it's really great. And so I can't wait to get these painted as well. And they're going to be great fun in Warcry. And so this book is all about some additional rules for Warcry and includes fighter cards and ability tables for 19 warbands. And they're all for the Grand Alliance of Chaos. You're also going to find extra new content for narrative play with things like fated quests and challenge battles for your chaos warbands so it's looking like it's going to be packed with information and if it's anything like the bringers of death this is going to be a really great book so let's take a look inside and see what's included in the contents and so here we are just going to start with how to use the book and it also gives us a little bit of kind of background and information and tells us a little bit about the eight points and why all these chaos war bands are there and why it's important to them it also goes into heroes and allies chaos allies monsters and thralls and then starts working through all the war bands of chaos from the beasts of chaos right through to the spire tyrants and now this book is going to include all the war bands that were bought brought out originally for Warcry so they're all Chaos Warbands so they're all going to be included in here um, so if you haven't picked them up yet this is a great way to check out all their abilities it's gonna have all the fighter type cards and all the information for them so you can really take a look at, at them in detail and decide if they're for you obviously I've done videos for almost all of these now so you can check those out on my channel too and then you can see all the miniatures and everything that's included in the actual Warband packs that you can buy so that's all the Warbands of Chaos. It's also going to give us a little bit of more narrative play to include and some background tables, which is really good. That's going to give us like naming tables and backgrounds for our main characters. So that's really fun. We're also going to get some Chaos Fated quests and some challenge battles and then the usual Warband roster templates in the back. So that's the contents. Let's dive in and take a look at each one in a little bit of detail we'll take our time and we'll just go through the whole book and um, see what's included and then you can decide if this is something you'd like to pick up so our first page here just gives us a little bit of narrative to get us started and gives us a taste of the eight points and what it means to the chaos warbands and i'm not going to read through all that this is you know you can check that out yourself don't want to ruin all the fun and then again here we go into the eight points a lot and it tells us all about the different warbands 
and this is just a nice introduction to what the book's all about. Um, you are going to need the original core rules that to use this with so this isn't a standalone book it certainly is a supplement um, but it's really great especially like it says here if you enjoy kind of telling epic stories and tales during your skirmishes and really if you're a narrative player and love the narrative kind of side of the game then this book is is essential and it's going to give you lots of information and i think it's really good to get these books if you want to start developing your own stories and your own backgrounds for your characters this is a good starting point and it kind of gives you almost a template to start filling in your own information and really personalizing those war bands, which is really fun and are gonna be a great part of the game, I think. And then this next section is how to use the book. This same section is included in all of these supplements and it's worded a little bit differently. And this, cause this is chaos, it gives us all the chaos faction room marks here. So you can see we're gonna get 19 faction room marks for all the chaos war bands. And it just introduces us to the war bands, heroes and allies, monsters and thralls, campaigns, challenge battles. And then here we talk a bit about the allies and the heroes. And if you picked up the Monsters and Mercenary expansion book when it came out, um, and you can still get it now. I'll put a link for that in the description below as well, because that's quite a cool little book. Um, but the rules in this section supersede the ally rules in that book. And this section here tells you all about how to include heroes and allies in your warband, which ones you can use. Um, and then we'll go through that in a second so you can see some of the actual heroes and some of the miniatures you can pick up to use as heroes and allies. And then it talks again about how to include them in narrative play and some rules on how many you can have and how you can use other leaders with the same um, leader room mark and faction room mark, uh, but you can't use them with the same leadership abilities and special rules, but you can still include them in your warband. So if you want, if you like the look of some of the different leaders, but you know, you can normally only have one leader, but with the heroes and allies, you can use that leader as a hero and they can join the warband. So if you've got some cool miniatures you want to include, um, then you certainly can with this. So this is a really nice set of rules that we can add as a supplement. So let's take a look at some of the chaos allies. And we've got the Fomeroid Crusher, the Ogroid Myrmidon, and the Mind Stealer Spheranx here. I thought this was going to be a monster that you could fight against, much like the Chimera, but it looks like it's an ally. Um, I picked up the Ogroid Myrmidon and I've done an unboxing and build video of that so you can take a, a good look at the abilities and the fighter type card and the miniature. It's such a great model. I think this is one of my favourites out of the whole Warcry um, set of miniatures you can get. This is really awesome. I haven't picked these two up yet but they're certainly on my list and I can't wait to get them. If you've got the Fomeroid Crusher or the Mind Stealer the Spheranx and played with them let me know what they're like in the comments below i'd love to hear how you got on with them and how they added to your game but this looks really cool including the mind stealer spheranx in with your kinite shadow stalkers and that would be a good team up i think and at 240 points you can certainly include there in your thousand points and as you develop your campaigns you're going to go up to what 1400 or so so you can certainly include this one here and such a big model it's really going to look cool on the tabletop so there we go. So this introduces us to three of the main Chaos Allies. A little bit of information about them, their abilities and fighter type cards. So this is where these books are good because of course you could substitute the actual miniatures but use the rules from here and that's really cool. Or if you've picked up a model that doesn't come with the ability card and the fighter type card then you can still play it. Like I picked up the Chimera but I was too late to get the Warcry version so I just got the... Um, the plain white box with the just the miniature inside. So with these books, I can get the rules and the fighter type cards and everything and still play that model. So these are really great for that. So we're including uh, allies in our Chaos Warbands, but we've also got monsters and thralls to play with, and you can fight against these monsters and thralls, and that's gonna be a really fun way to add some different quests and different um, encounters with your warband and pitch them against some monsters here's the chimera here and this is a different paint scheme i haven't seen before in the red that's really nice i mean the artwork on the original chimera warcry box is stunning and i think that purple color is really good but this looks good as red too i like that 
So with this monster and thrall section, it also explains here that if you've got the monsters and mercenaries expansion, the rules here supersede the rules in that book too for the monsters. So I think these supplement books are really taking the place of that monsters and mercenaries expansion, and we're certainly getting more specific with each of the different grand alliances. So that's really nice. So these pages here, they're gonna give you all the information about deploying, activating, moving, and their universal abilities. You're also gonna get some monster hunting abilities if you take your warband up against some monsters and some specific monster abilities here as well. And then the cool thing is you can also include monsters in your warband, which is mental. So if we can take this big guy here and include him in our beasts of chaos, that's gonna be so much fun. So here we are, we can use them in our battles, include them in our warband. Uh, it just gives you a bit of information about the different ways to use them in open, narrative and match play. And just like with our heroes and allies, we're going to get some examples of the different monsters. Uh, so here's the Chimera that I've picked up. So I really need all this information to be able to use that, that specific model. So this is brilliant. It's got the Chimera abilities, the fighter type card and a damage table there. So you've got your damage points to allocate depending on your movement and damage. So that's really cool. And then we've got some more here, the Slaughter Brute. And turning over, we've got quite a few monsters in this book, which is really great. So we've got the Chaos Gargant, we've got the Gorgon, the Cygore, and the Mutalith Vortex Beast. I've never heard of this one, but I picked up this Cygore in the Beasts of Chaos Start Collecting set. And that's great value to get this big monster included. And I've done a separate video on that that um, you can check out as well. So have a look out for that if you like the Beasts of Chaos. But, but this is really good. And I think things, some of these, you know, you could probably, if you're into sculpting and crafting, you could make your own beasts and then adopt these rules for sure. Here's another one, the Hell Pit Abomination. That's pretty cool as well. So something like this wouldn't be too tricky to build, maybe the hands, but you know, you could certainly make some monsters, no problem, and then use all the abilities and information in here too. I think this would be good if you've got miniatures from other games, maybe Dungeons and Dragons, that kind of thing. You could use those miniatures and, and bring them into the Warcry world for sure. You could also, it wouldn't be too difficult to make up your own abilities and your own fighter type card. You can get these blank uh, templates online and then you can fill out your own information. So if you use the kind of mechanics uh, with all the numbers and the statistics and the kind of, for the abilities, just kind of keep them quite similar to a monster you like the look of yeah i think it would be quite cool to certainly come up with your own monster and then apply your own abilities and specific rules to them so that's another um, kind of creative and fun way that you can develop Warcry and personalize it too so as well as monsters we've got uh, chaos thralls and these are like pack animals or pack beasts so you've got loads of different ones to fight against so here it's got some examples the razor gore chaos spawn chaos warhound raptorix and the fury so i've got these furies here in the chaotic beast pack and also the chaos warhounds we picked up at christmas time so they're really cool the models look great even though they're quite old i believe but they look really good still so they're fun and um, so you've got all the information here and chaotic beasts get the abilities it's the beat the chaotic beast abilities that apply to all of these now i've picked up the chaotic beast pack and that's going to include fighter type cards and special abilities that unboxing is coming soon and that includes the raptorix the furies as well so you're getting the raptorix and the furies in here and that's going to probably have these abilities all included but if you don't get that pack and again if you've got some monsters you want to use and some different beasts that can replace these then you don't need to get the pack anymore you can just use the book and use the rules from the book so there's there's certainly a lot of information in here that can save you some money and save you invested in these packs just to get the rules from so that's really great so that's all our monsters and our thralls and again again with like um other miniatures from Dungeons and Dragons you don't have to just play five different ones here you can make up anything you like keep the statistics very similar use the abilities and then you can introduce some kind of mad stuff to the game and um, if you're playing against your friends and you want to surprise them with another group of, of like thralls then you could bring out some completely unique miniatures and they'd have no idea what's coming against them but they would be familiar enough with the rule set that they could play them and it would still be an even match. So that's just something else to think about.
Right, now we're on to the War Bands of Chaos, and this next section is going to take us through all the different War Bands, show us the abilities for the leaders and the fighters, and then give us all the fighter type cards for all the different miniatures that we can bring in and use in the game. And it starts off with just a very nice introduction again. I love how brief these are, just enough to get, get you in and give you a taste of what's to come. And then some great photography and artwork throughout the, these books. I love it. And I love seeing the actual models photographed and in combat like this. And now we're going to work through each of the warbands. So it starts off with the Beasts of Chaos. And again, it gives you a nice couple of pages of background and narrative. It explains why these beasts are in the eight points, what they're up to, and why they're fighting the other warbands. So that's really good. And again, we've got a nice mix of photography and artwork. I really like the style here, really nice artwork. And then we go through to their fighter abilities and the Chaos, Beasts of Chaos leader abilities. So if you picked up um, the Beasts of Chaos card pack, then you're gonna get most of these included, but some of these aren't in the card pack. So the only place you're gonna find them is pretty much in this book. So, and also with the card pack, you don't get all the cards that are going to be featured here. So you can see we've got 12 fighter type cards here on this page, but also another six and another eight here. So you don't get all those included in the card pack. And this is a great way so you, you can uh, kind of use all the models you've already got. I mean, in the start collecting set, I got the great Bray Shaman. I got some, let's have a look, Ungors and Ungor Raiders you can choose, and some Bestiors, but that's it. So there's not many more in there that I could I could have used, and cards-wise, it didn't give us all these for sure. So if you've got a Beast of Chaos Age of Sigmar army already, there's a good chance you're going to have a lot of these miniatures, and so just picking up this book is going to give you access to all the stats and information for all of these, whereas if you just get the card pack, you're going to be missing out on quite a lot of these here and also on some of the leadership abilities too. So I think that's why these books are so great. I mean, there's so much here. You've got all the, the Bulgors, Doom Balls, everything in there. So all the different miniatures and uh, really great if you want to use an Age of Sigmar army for Warcry. Now we're moving on to the Blades of Corn, And again, a really nice introduction just to get started and give you a taste of why they're in there. And then here we can go in again to the leader abilities and the fighter abilities and our fighter types there. And there's going to be quite a lot here, I think. So you can see, yeah, we've got, so we've got 8, 15, 25, 26. So we've got 26 fighter types there for the Blades of Corn. So that's really great. Lots of options for all the miniatures and really great way for you to get your Age of Sigmar army into Warcry. Now we've got the Demons of Corn, and again, here's their abilities and eight cards there for the fighter types. So we're not getting too much for that one there. And I think the card pack is gonna include most of those in it anyway. So there's our Demons of Corn, our Disciples of Tsinch. And these are great miniatures, these, I love these. I can't wait to pick up some of these and I hope that they bring out a Warcry Warband for these next. And there we go, we've got our abilities again and our fighter type cards. So this one's gonna have quite a few. And the colors in these are fantastic. I think these would be great for contrast paints as well. And so we've had our Arcanites and now we've got our Demons. And again, loads of options, loads of cards. These are really fun, fun looking miniatures. And then we're on to our Maggot Kin of Nurgle with a nice couple of pages again, introducing it all. And our Nurgle rock bringers. Demons of Nurgle. And so these are gonna almost be the place of two card packs now. So I picked up one card pack for the Demons of Nurgle, and but there's another one called the Nurgle rock bringers. So you're getting both card packs in this book. So that's great value, even if you think just for that. And although you don't get the cards, it wouldn't be too difficult to photocopy this, print it off, uh, take a photo, and even use it on your iPad if you prefer, that kind of thing. So lots of options there. Now we've got the Hedonites of Slanesh, our introduction, and we've got our Sybarites. So lots of cards here again. 
So we're looking at 9, 13, 19 there. And then we've got Demons of Selesh. So we get another 12. So, you know, if you play Selesh, you've got, what, 31 fighter types that you can make use of with this book. So that's really good. And then we've got a Skaven. So I picked up the Skaven Warband. Uh, for Warcry, and it's such a great set. I love it. I love the Rat Ogres, and it's packed with cards. You get so many cards in it. But even though you've got lots of cards in it, there's still loads here that weren't included, and I think this is going to have a lot. So we've got 12, 24, 36. So we've got 36 fighter types there. So on top of the, I think it was 22, 22 fighter type cards that come in the box set, you get another um, 10 there. Oh, sorry, 14. 14 more here. So that's really great. So if you've got some of these you want to play, the Grey Seer looks an awesome miniature. I'd love to get that. And so this is really nice for you to make use of your army. Again, if you've got an Age of Sigma army, the chances are you can have lots of different Skaven. So this is a great way to include them all. And now we're on to Slaves to Darkness. And this is what I'm interested in because my son and I, or my son got it for his birthday. He got the Slaves to Darkness start collecting set. And it's really great. The um, Lord on the Carcadron is awesome. So I'm hoping that's in here. And But here we go. We get our abilities for the fighters and the leaders. Oh yeah, here we go. So here's our Chaos Lord on Carcadrac. Not Carcadron, Carcadrac. So that's really great. We can include him now. Uh, so I was disappointed a, a bit when I got the Slaves to Darkness cards the card pack because these weren't included none of the models we got were included so this is really cool we get him there now so that's great we've got chaos lords so this is awesome and then here we get the varangard so that's brilliant the doom knight so this is really cool and we get loads loads of great miniatures again and there's a lot here that were included in the packs but to get those now in conjunction with that card pack can pretty much play all of those miniatures that are included in that start collecting pack i think those start collecting packs are a great way to build a nice war band with lots of options and a good way to get in and, and get started and now we've got our iron golem and these are one of the first war bands that were brought out specifically for war cry and i don't think you get anything new here these are the cards that are included in the pack that you get so that's all there and the information with these rather than being double page it's just one page and the abilities just apply to them all with one for the leader there and it looks like all of these are just going to be quite short now for the untamed beasts again one ability table and the same cards that are included in the pack there the corvus cabal my favorite warband and i love these miniatures they're absolutely awesome um, this guy, the Shrike Talon, here he is, is just brilliant and I can't wait to get this one up and painted and finished, which will be very soon. Um, probably if you're watching this, I would have done him by now, so check that video out, but he's great. And uh, I love the whole narrative and background for the Corvus Cabal, really great. I hope they bring out some expansions for these original war bands you know i'd love to see some new miniatures for corvus cabal but again you can still include heroes and allies so so you can grow it without having to replicate the miniatures and our cypher lords they're really good as well the unmade they only get five fighter type cards so it's not many there not many options for them splintered fang these look awesome i love those and the whole idea of those the background is great Sirens of the Flame that came with the Warcry Catacomb set, which you can now buy separately, of course. The Spire Tyrants. Okay, so that's all our war bands done. And now we're moving on to the narrative play. And this is going to talk us through the rules that kind of give you more additional narrative play content for all the Warcry Chaos war bands. And in this section, it's going to include four new fated quests. And that's going to give you some more adventures to send you like Warband on, which is really fun. It's also going to give you naming tables and backgrounds for your leader and your fighters. And finally, you're also going to get six new challenge battles that you can add to your campaigns. And they're going to give you like lots of new adventures to go on uh, with different rewards and things like that. So really fun. So this section is going to give us a page for each Warband and then give us the first names that you can roll with just a D10 to randomly pick a first name. It's gonna give us the last names with a D10 and then with a D6, 
it's going to give us the origin and also the leader or favoured warrior background. So you can just pick, you don't have to use a dice, you can just pick whichever one you want, or you can roll a dice and let it be totally random. Or of course, you can invent your own and come up with your own origins and backgrounds. But I think this is really great to get started and give you a kind of taste of, of how to do it and, and some ideas to get started. Once you start growing your roster and your warband gets bigger for your campaigns, you know, you're gonna to need to, you don't wanna replicate the name, so you're gonna need some more. So, I mean, there's loads of things online, like uh, tables and, and things and random generators for names. So lots of resources. So that's the same for Beasts of Chaos. And then you've got all the different ones for Blades of Corn. And then through all the different warbands, they get their own page with totally different backgrounds and names. So that's really great fun. Another nice piece there. This looks fun. I don't know what that is. Do you know what it is? If you do, let me know in the comments below. But that would be a fun one to make. That wouldn't be difficult. So that would be fun. And now we're on to the Chaos Fated Quests. So the rules for the Chaos Fated Quests are in the core book on page 63. So you need to use the quests alongside that. And this is just going to give you all the information you need to run it. And so all the... The fated quests here can only be embarked upon by Chaos Warbands uh, because that's they're all like designed specifically for them. And this is going to give you the terrain cards you can use. So the terrain cards that you can use in here are from the Warcry Catacombs set. And if you don't have scenery from Warcry Catacombs, it says here you can use scenery from Ravage Land or the older Warcry Starter set instead. So that's you don't have to just use catacombs and I think you could just make up your own terrain as well I don't think you, you even need to use any of this you could use terrain you've built yourself so that's no problem and then here we've just got some specific rules for the chaos fated quest there and it tells us about honor or glory and whether you choose honor or glory depends on which rewards you'll get whether it'll be an actual uh, like artifact of power or an exalted command trait and so now we go on to the actual fated quests themselves and these are all going to be like two pages long and it's going to give us a really quick introduction to give us a nice background it's going to give us the artifact of power and command trait that we can roll on the d3 our first convergence second and final and a campaign outcome and it tells us to go to page 102 if you choose honor or 103 if you choose glory to see the outcome and claim your reward so the nice template here two pages that's all you need to get started it's got all the information you need to play the different quests so lot lot is although it's only two pages there's lots going on there and that's going to give you lots of fun and lots of time on the table playing it and so these aren't specific to any of the chaos warbands so you can play any of them in these so that's great so you've got another one here and again this is good you're going from like out in the wilderness here in the mountains we're going into a, a city, again back into the wilderness, we've got some like ruins, maybe some forests going on there, and then here's our spoils of victory with honour or glory. Now we're on to the challenge battles, and this is a, a kind of campaign battle that they refer to as a challenge battle. And it says here they're unique battles available to any warband currently embarked upon any campaign quest. And in this section, you're going to find six challenge battles for your chaos warband to attempt. And so this is really nice. This is going to mix it up, and it's going to give you some different kind of battles to play uh, with some different rules. You've got some special rules, some spoils and rewards, aftermath. And if you want to play them again, just a little bit there, it tells you how to set it up, what your adversary needs to do, and all the information you need about monsters and everything. And here's the narrative of challenge battles as well. So that's really nice to get into. So these are a little bit different to the Fated Quests because they're just set up as a one page kind of challenge. And it tells you how to set up the battle plan, the special rules and the spoils. So it's all on one page, which is really great. Again, you need to use it with the reward, uh, with the core book. And for your treasure hoard, you're going to have to refer to page 105 to find out about that bit. Uh, but everything else is on that one page. So that's really good. And you can get up and playing quite quick. And this is going to give you some great gameplay against warbands, against monsters, against packs of beasts and that kind of thing. So you're getting lots of variety there. And then at the final 
couple of pages here and on the back cover page you get your war cry war band rosters and these can be photocopied uh, you can probably find online as well or you can take a photo on your ipad and actually just use your apple pencil to like write on the ipad but i think printing them off would be good and writing all the information in and then you keep track of all your campaign progress here your convergences and all that uh, so that's really fun all your fighters and all that information can just be stored on two forms and then that's it with the back cover and that's the whole book for the agents of chaos war cry supplement guidebook i'd love to hear what you think about the agents of chaos supplement guidebook what you think they could or should have added to it and what your favorite parts are yeah let me know in the comments below that'd be awesome i really love it i love all these these guidebooks uh, i think if you're playing with just one war band then you're only going to need one book really um, but if you, you're collecting like me and you want to build up war bands for all the different grand alliances then i think these are really fun to add to the narrative add to your gameplay and certainly give you more information and enable you to keep up to date with any changes to the rules too i think for the information you get in here for 20 pounds rp it's really great and with that discounted element games um, that really makes a, a good difference and I think you get some good value for this one uh, even these these smaller ones as well because just even if you're playing one or two warbands from them you're getting a lot a lot there if you're using the original chaos warbands that were built for Warcry then you're not going to get any new information from this with regards to the specific abilities or the fighter types but I think this is invaluable if you want to bring in an Age of Sigmar army that you've already got then this book's going to give you all the information you need for the fighter types and the abilities and get you started right away and if you're playing a big uh, army like skaven with lots of different fighters then this is awesome and you know you could get the card pack for sure but i think this gives you access to a lot more miniatures so definitely worth it if you've got an army you want to bring into warcry I hope this video was helpful and gave you a good insight into what's included in the book and whether it's something you want to pick up next thanks so much for watching please like if you like the video subscribe for more content like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on tabletop skirmish games